Hi guys, my name is Marcela. Welcome to my channel, My Fonseca. Right now I'm gonna react to The Boys Season 2, Episode 3. I'm reacting to The Boys today instead of yesterday because I had a problem with my audio on the first episode. And it took me like all day kind of to fix it. Not me, actually, my boyfriend fixed it for me. So if it was me, it would take a little bit longer because I had no idea, don't really understand stuff about computers. But I believe it's fixed now, and I believe this episode's going to be good. We're still trust testing everything, so if a problem happens, I'm sorry, but I believe it won't happen. So let's just start right now with The Boys Season 2, Episode 3. All right, look, we'll say, I lost me bottle a little bit when I popped you one. <laughs> I told you he should have punched him. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Huey, forget him. I'll punch him back. Okay, good. Now everything is good, right? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the target is the girl's brother? Yes, sir. You don't think it compromises her allegiances? Well, if it comes to that. I'll neutralize her. Oh, you won't. You Don't you dare. Truly touching. Frenchie is there. Or her? What did I say? It's just a figure of speech, mate. Yeah, I'm not sure if I trust you about that. Cool to this night. I didn't put the books together. Yeah, I don't believe him. I want to believe him, but I don't. Do not trust him. Please. Oh, fuck. Have you another heart attack? Because of the V? Yes, please. Oh my god. We write all women as either unknowable Hitchcock bitches or Michael Bay fuck dolls. I mean, I get that a lifetime of jerking off to Transformers didn't exactly make you popular with the ladies, but a um, little effort would be nice. <laughs> um, excuse me. I love her. I'm sorry. Sisters. Thank you very much. Superheroes are not born, but made. In fact, oh. created by a chemical serum compound V produced and administered by Vought International. The company that has been the corporate face of superheroes. She went by herself. Our very own reporting suggests the parents also received a very generous payment. You passed the pits again. And I heard the goldfish begging for their lives. Jesus. They were begging. It didn't have to be this way. It could have been normal. Oh, I do feel bad about that. Just that, not everything else about him. Oh, even him. Guys. Did this? Uh, yeah. Starlight did mostly. You sure? But I just gave her an old alley oop. Are they gonna be mad? <laughs> okay, now <nah. laughs> I thought for a second he was gonna be mad. Oh your tips. Look at what the kid just did. Me and Starlight, what? yeah. Did you see me? The fucking kid. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nice one. I'm proud of them for doing that. I don't know what's gonna happen now that everybody knows, but yeah. But I'm proud that they said things. He's gonna push him. <laughs> What did I say? Pussy. You don't get to tell me how to raise my son. I'm his father. You don't get to say that after what you did. What I did to you was give you a son that you are raising like a little girl. Let go of me. He's mine. Get your hands off her! Ooh. <sighs> he now likes it. Be Good dead. Boy. You're just like me, I am. No, I'm not like you. I'm nothing like you. I fucking hate you. Leave us alone. Yeah. Oh my god, I want this man to die so bad. Oh, Frenchie, you should not go close to him. Oh. 
Maybe this is her chance to leave while we can. Elena, if we do that, you know what'll happen. I'll call you back. Hell no. Not, uh, interrupting, am I? Who's Elena? Elena's an old friend. This is the NYPD. This is supposed to be reported stolen and you're all under arrest. They just oh, no, got no. so screwed up. Hey, uh, hey, Annie, it's me again. And now I, I feel like I'm, I'm that kid. And I'm gonna drown, and and thank God I found my second win because it's, it's you. Then yeah. you're my second win. And you wind up hurting the people that you love. Like the way that I hurt you. Um, Couldn't you just say that last episode? Damn. That's all I wanted to say. Fuck a lot, huh? I did not see that coming from you. Maybe you don't know me that well. Maybe I don't. And you really shouldn't. What the fuck was that? The hell was that? Shark? Is that the deep? What did I say? Wait, is that the scene from the well that we saw? Oh fuck. Stop. Right? Oh, poor animal. We can't leave the king, man. Pinocchio staying put. How about it? I know it's fake, but I feel so bad. You ain't going? Asshole. Yep. Yeah. We hand that cunt over, and I get Becca, and you get your girls. Oh, we're right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. You is not gonna make it, and you need that kid more than any one of us. He's your canary. What canary? You let your canary die. How you gonna know when you're going too far? Oh. What a oh. load of bollocks. I like that idea. Starlight, maybe one day you can welcome me back into the seven. Hmm. I know my room is long and hard. Are you serious? There is no fucking way you're coming back. <sighs> you got my message. Annie, I... That's why she did that. Kill him. You know she's not gonna do it. More incentive? Okay. You kill him, or I'll fucking kill you for it. Come on, somebody, do something. Do not kill him. Boy, cunt. William? Eat this motherfucker. Oh, nice. She actually was gonna kill him, I'm surprised. Are they gonna take them both? Hey guys! Oh shit! Okay, she's really not good. Damn. Fuck. Open your eyes. 
I like to see the light go out. Okay, she's crazy. Fucking yellow bastard. Stop the terrorist before he can take you more innocent lives. Is she gonna talk? The chemical? This is a really good actress too. I thought she was actually gonna talk, like be pissed off. <sighs> Damn this episode. So much has happened. Most of them stuff that made me upset. I didn't notice how depressed depressed Huey was, but on this episode they seemed like that, especially after the wheel stuff. Where he didn't want to leave there. He did seem like he was drowning in his own feelings about everything being crappy and just I feel bad for him. I felt really bad when I thought that Starlight was actually gonna kill him because I was at first thinking no way she's gonna kill him and then he was like do it and she lighted it up and I was like oh no but thank god Witcher saved him especially of what Mother's Milk said. I'm glad he talked to him and I'm also really happy for the fact that Mother's Milk went to the well to get Huey out. The scene from the well is shocking but I try not to look too much at it because I already looked on the trailer and that was really really fucking uh, shocking. So I got disgusted by most of that when they were there and I was like oh poor animal I know it's fake but I was still feeling bad and I still feel a little bit nauseous about it. Um, I rooted for Kimiko's brother to be good this entire time. And at some moments I was like, no, he's not going to be good. And then he ended up turning out to be good at the end. While that girl that I was starting to like her, thinking that she might be good, it wasn't. Really, really wasn't. And she she surprised me like for the trailer. I thought that maybe she had a little bit of not being good, but I wasn't sure because when the more they start to show her, the more I started to kind of like her. So it surprised me when she did that. I was like, she's totally a psycho and racist, and. I feel like at the same time she's kind of like a match for Homelander and kind of like a ship for him like someone for him to hate and someone for him to want because he was like surprised when she killed the guy and I thought he was gonna love that and he didn't because she didn't get him because she didn't wait for him to kill the guy but I feel like he's gonna want her I really hated the whole him having breakfast with with Becca and the kid and especially him saying like I'm your dad, I'm your dad, and your dad and Becca like you don't deserve to call yourself his dad after what he did and him like grabbing her I like that the kid, the moment that the kid actually light up and took his powers was when he was trying to defend his mom, I really enjoyed that so to me it's like okay the kid's gonna be good he's not gonna corrupt the kid and I knew he was gonna push the kid off the roof I just knew it but I didn't know if the kid was actually gonna fly or not and I was like can he or not but he can't or maybe he can with the right right, right stimulation but I'm glad that the kid's gonna be good and was trying to defend his mom I was not liking the fight between but, Butch, but Butcher and I I don't know why I can say his name right today. I was not liking the his fight with Huey. Like especially at that moment where where they had oh that was after but like I didn't like the fact that they were fighting so much on this episode. I really enjoyed the fact that people knew now about the compound V and I like how they were happy about it. I thought for a second that they were gonna be mad about that because Mother's Milk looked very surprised like, you did this? And then he was happy, I was like, yay. 
and I feel like but I feel like what what Billy said there about him them not celebrating too much because he was they still had a lot to go on a lot of problems to happen I feel like that was true so I kind of agree with him there but I wanted them to celebrate just a bit I feel like the I feel like I really enjoyed the conversation between Frenchie and Kimiko's brother. I really enjoy that. Like I love Frenchie and he's very in love with Kimiko. I did not like when when Billy was like saying that he if it was necessary he would kill Kimiko too. I was like, no, this is bad. You should not do that. You should not even say that. And I knew French was gonna be there listening, and he was, and she too, and it was a whole awkward and situation that I really wish he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't cross the line. Um, I don't know if Annie's gonna eventually listen to the to the to the audio that Huey sent. It was a good declaration of love, I feel like, and. What else? I'm scared for the fact that Homelander heard Maeve's conversation with Elena and he wants to figure out who Elena is. Also, uh, I felt bad when they found... I felt bad for the deep in the tiny little moment on this episode when he was talking about he, spending his entire life listening to the fish and stuff, asking, begging for their lives begging not to be killed and stuff and then the, he found out that he could have been normal that he was normal and then his family give him the compound v so he would have superpowers so i feel i felt bad for him for that reason alone and i felt bad for black noir too because he was like crying i was like oh i did not expect that and black noir is like slowly growing on me he wasn't doing anything wrong and he seemed very much on the like on the side of Homelander. But I feel like on this next these episodes they are showing another side to him to make us really like him and kind of trust him. So I want him to be good. Also, uh, there was something else I wanted to talk about. Hmm. The entire confrontation between the Deep and Starlight. I really enjoyed the fact that she was like, you are not coming back. You should not come back. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry. But I'm on her side completely about to not forgive him. He does not deserve that. And speaking of that, I really want Homelander to die for what he did to Becca and everything that he's still doing. Like, I can't wait for the moment that he dies. And I just, they could kill the Deep too. Like, I wouldn't mind if they killed the Deep. But I want Homelander to have a really big death. You know, he deserves a really big death for everything bad that he's doing. And I'm, I have no idea what's going to happen next. This show is crazy. It was really good, really crazy, really smart. And I just... I want to watch more and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.